Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Hillary, this is Rustic Threads. Uh, today is April 10th, it's a Wednesday. Uh, first of all, I wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who has watched my channel, liked my videos, and have left comments. It truly does mean a lot to me. Um, today, I am gonna start off talking about uh, the Frugal Yankee Retreat. I got to attend that a couple weekends ago in Massachusetts. It's a seven hour drive for me. Uh, I left on Friday morning after I dropped the kids off at school. And I got to Massachusetts about four o'clock. Um, when I went, walked into the door, the first person I saw was Helen D. She's East Coast Crafter on Instagram. Helen D, I believe on Floss too. Uh, she's from Maine as well. And I have been waiting to meet her. Um, so exciting. She's such a wonderful person. I knew she would be. Um, I went, checked in, went to my room, came back down, and Pam and Steph were at the front desk. Um, so I gave them a big hug, couldn't wait to sit down and stitch with them, and everyone was in the common area, which is right next to, right off of the front desk area. So I went over there and started introducing myself, um, and everyone was so welcoming, so kind, so friendly. Um, went grab my stitching sat down and it was not like I knew everyone but it, they were so friendly easy to talk to and everybody just got along fabulously um, people were just slowly coming in over the next hour or so and we sat and stitched all night long um, that night Lynette set up a crock pot Friday well she didn't set up everybody brought food um, it was amazing. There were soups and chowders, hams, beans, um, garlic bread, chips, dips, desserts, Helen's whoopie pies. Um, it was just amazing. Too much food, but it was all delicious and uh, everybody did a fabulous job. So after that, we sat, like I said, stitched until I think I stitched till 1.30 in the morning. This is my first retreat ever and I didn't want to miss out on anything. Um, go to Pam and Steph's Floss too. Obviously, you probably already watched it, but she, they're going to get in depth into this than I, more in depth than I will. Next morning, we got up, had a nice breakfast, um, brought our stitching down to that common area, and um, we had a smalls exchange. So everybody brought a gift if you wanted to, I guess. Um, the idea was to wrap the gift in to give a clue what the stitch stitch gift was going to be so if it was halloween you'd wrap it in orange and black if it was christmas you'd wrap it in christmas paper i didn't get that hint <laughs> i didn't get that notice so mine was just wrapped in pink and purple and um lynette's daughter little one she got my gift um i don't have i have a picture of that but i don't have a little video showing you what i need um, I did a hands-on design, give thanks for this day, and I included some hand-dyed floss in there for her, so I think she liked it. Um, I was the first to pick, and the piece that I picked was, I, I was very lucky to pick first. The piece I picked um, was screaming out to me. It was the cutest little package, uh, black basket with orange and purple paper sticking out. I knew it was going to be Halloween. I love Halloween. So that was the first thing I picked. So that happened to be from Stephanie. My gift came in this cute little package with, I don't know if you can see little stickers, paper, which looked a lot better than this because I've shoved it in and this is what she stitched for me. I know you've already seen it on her floss tube, but I get to see it in person and I love it. Um, I almost cried. I was shaking when I opened it. She has the most perfect stitching. This finish is amazing from Jan, her finisher. It has a little pocket that she had um, little orange scissors in. I have those in another bag somewhere. I'll show you them, them when I find it. Um, a little pin and a spider charm, and I am going to keep this out all year because I love it. Stephanie and I um, kind of had a nice little friendship. Um, she is amazing. She's strong. She's beautiful. She's hilarious. 
and um, I think that we're going to be friends forever. So I was so, so happy to get this gift. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, that being said, if I had gotten any gift from that table, I would have been excited. Everything that everyone stitched was amazing. There was not one piece that I would not take home with me. Um, just fabulous. Fabulous finishers, fabulous stitchers. Um, it was amazing to see. It was amazing to see. Um, that day, we started throwing stuff out on a freebie table, which was kind of the hearth where the, the fireplace was. And I can't even imagine. I, it, there were too many things to go through um, with just 20 to 30 people there. They were bringing out boxes and boxes of charts. Um, so I flipped through a few things and I'll show you my freebie haul. I did pick up a couple fabrics, but I don't have those with me. Um, I picked up this Scarlet House. I'm trying to see. Dried gourds and marigolds. I think that's going to be cute for fall. I have this Little Needlework, Little House Needleworks um, for Freedoms. I don't know if I'm going to do it like this, do half of it, take out the words. I love the little house. I found this Raise the Roof. I thought Stephanie would like it, but she told me Pam already stitched it for her, so I'm going to stitch it for myself. Crazy Cat Lady. I picked up Threadworks Primitive, Laugh, Don't Weep, Eternal Sleep, Tombstone. And I picked up a Prairie Moon. I've never had a Prairie Moon. I don't know if I'll stitch it. It's definitely not really me, but I think I could kind of change things up, change the colors. Might be interesting. Um, also, Helen had brought a bunch of handmade project bags, just beautiful, beautiful project bags. And I picked out one because it was the only one she had. I got Alice in Wonderland, and it is awesome. I love the lace, the little scissor. I guess it's a tag. You can put a sticker on there to tell you what's inside. But inside is my Mad Hatter, so I know what's in there. Love it, Helen. It's amazing. I already put it to use. So after going through the freebie table and the smalls exchange, we went to the Little Quinn Lido Workshop, World and Stitches. This is my first LNS I've ever been to, besides the little craft shop that used to be in my town. Um, and I will tell you that after watching Pam and Steph's video, and Pam had done a tour of the shop, I had only seen like a quarter of that shop when I was there. I did not see, I did not look up and see all the beautiful models, all the stitching. I was just there with my head down in some of these bins looking at fabric um, and charts. And I didn't see half of that shop. But next weekend, I'm going down to taking the family to Great Wolf Lodge in Massachusetts. And we're going right by World of Stitches. So I am going right back. Don't know if my family's going to enjoy going in there, but they're coming with me. <laughs> um, I have haul from that shop. I didn't, I only bought, let's see, here's the thing. I've got to find it. I bought two charts, two pieces of fabric and some threads to go with it. First chart I bought, well I guess I kind of put it up, not really, not all of it, but I purchased the Halloween Sampler Cottage Garden. Is that what it is? Cottage, Cottage Garden Samplings. I picked up this week's beige fabric, 36 count to go with it. And I picked up some threads. They aren't the called fours, but the called fours weren't variegated enough for me. So I just picked out a few things and that's gonna be a start. Another chart I bought. I'm sorry, I should have been more prepared here. I think it's a Plum, yeah, Plum Street Samplers Eat Crow. 
I love this one that came these came out last year and for that I picked up uh, picture this plus ran in 40 count and picked up some a couple flosses to get that started so I can't wait to start that just bringing this stuff out brings me back to that shop. I can't wait to go again. So while, while we were there, I brought a few stitching pieces. I think I brought four items, four, four stitching items. I picked up before I left this hands-on designs you had me at Flamingo. And I've stitched on this a little bit after the retreat. I stitched on it yesterday. And what I got done so far is this. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to look in my... I have a mirror now, guys. I'm trying to do this the right way. Love the colors. Love the variegation. I think pretty close. Just have this top half to, be, to do and then I'll be done. So, love that. I have that in my little flamingo bag. I'm going to put some of these things away. <clears throat> um, I stitched on, so Marissa, she is M. Kissa on YouTube, and I think it's M. Kissa Creations. I think she might have an Etsy shop. She and I are doing this Prairie Schoolers Hocus Pocus. She's doing hers on a tan fabric, and all of her orange is purple, and it's beautiful. And I am doing mine, so I got a lot done. I'm doing mine on this kind of gray-blue fabric. And <laughs> trying to see, with the orange called for. So I did a lot on that. I'm working on this for School of Magical Stitches and Literature as well. Um, I did, there was... Um, homework assignment <sighs> different classes so there's a class for ancient runes so I changed the word the word was spells and I put that in a runic alphabet there was arithmancy a class for arithmancy so down here in the palm I put some letters there was divination so we have this crystal ball I think I also used it for Oh, we had to stitch in black, 310, and we had to stitch on something that had frames. So this piece was perfect for all of those pieces. So I think I got a lot done that, during the weekend with that. I stitched on... Oh, I think I have it here. Hands-on design. Yes, I do. The year in celebrations. I stitched on May. I didn't do a lot on this, but... I have April done. I need to get May done. I like to get ahead on everything. So those are so fun and so quick to stitch. I'm so glad I purchased that. So glad. I don't remember what else I stitched on. Oh, and matter matter's choice. So I'm getting along pretty well on this one as well. Maybe I'll do this. I'm using 36 count Vicki Clayton's fabric with Indigo Shades Victorian model. And I think, oh, I can't tell if you can see this. Started on the house, got some of the flower and pot down there done. So I actually did a lot of stitching at the retreat, more than I thought I would. Um, Mind is blank. Mind is blank. So that... So after World in Stitches, we stayed up until 2.30 in the morning. Stephanie finished her project that she brought. The only one she pretty much stitched on, I think, finally at 2.30 in the morning. She had promised little one that she would get it done, and she did. So we were... <laughs> we're all screaming in the common room at 2.30 in the morning, clapping. Um...
Sunday morning. I think I already told you. I got up and left, said goodbye, goodbyes to everybody. Um, so many wonderful people. I cannot wait to go back. Um, I think, you know, forever friends, definitely. So kind and so generous. Um, we've already, some of us become friends on Facebook and following them on Instagram. So hopefully, hopefully I can get back to see some of the main girls before next year sometime. It's not so far to drive. Um, another whip I've been working on this week. And this is for Magical Stitches as well. Um, it's two things that are fighting for your attention. So this one I stitched on yesterday, the day before, and it is almost done. I have to fill in some windows, slay, do some back stitching up here, and I will be finished with this piece. This piece is also a stitch nine challenge piece. So I think that will be my first one that I've been a second one that I've finished for stitch nine. Um, and one more, one more thing that I've been stitching on, I'll show you. This is Mirabilia gathering eggs. I bring this out every spring and stitch a little bit on it. Um, this was part of Magical Stitches as well. I think I told you before, I'm a stitch off somewhere up here, so I'm fudging everything. There's this right here is not stitched. She needs a foot and I need to do the border and fill in this and then odd stitches everywhere. Um, I think there's a few beads, so I'll have to get those. That's coming close to a finish, but I've been working on this for over 10 years. So who knows? Who knows? Um, what else I've been doing since our last, since we last spoke, since I last talked to you, um, I've been dyeing some threads. I'm not going to show them to you all individually, but I'm going to hold up, hold up a few. These are kind of muted, some pinks, some browns, purples, this one I love grays and browns. I love this one. I think I'm going to use these as some stitchy gifts. I love dyeing thread. I'm trying to figure out a process. Um, trying out different things, trying to see what works the best for variegation. And I think I'm getting there. This one's a muted pink, peachy pink. But this is so much fun. Nothing I'll do for business-wise, but maybe stitchy gifts. So that's what I've been doing there. I got some haul, I guess we'll call it. I purchased from Olivia Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. I purchased a project bag from her. It is wonderful, beautiful. She said this is her grandma's lace, so she's using those on all her bags. And just a nice white printed in the middle, inside, I mean. I'm not one to purchase a ton of bags, because I want to save my money for stitching items. <laughs> I want to save my money for charts, fabric. <clears throat> I also purchased one stash unload, stash unload, stash unloading, a lot of bright needle charts. I have one other bright needle chart. I think they're kind of, they're real pastel-y, so I think some of these you can really play with the color on these. So this one is Elizabethan Garden Sampler. This one is the Welcome. I've got strawberry house sampler and I feel like again some you can almost like condense some of these things take these motifs and move them around I think it's really cool I'm gonna try to work um, work on that and an Easter tide sampler and the garden party now this is huge 
This is 193 inches wide. Sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't look that big. I don't even know if you can see this. Can you see that? But I got those at a good price and I love them. I do. I also received my first Happy Mail. Happy Mail? Marlene Stitching on the Lake. I watched a video of mine. Um, and I was talking about her sampler that she did, Ebenezer's Christmas. And she just messaged me and said, if you want this chart, give me your your um, address. And I, I said, yes. So I'll be sending something to you, Marlene, very soon. Uh, she sent me the Eb Erica Michaels Ebenezer's Christmas. I loved watching her stitch this. I loved watching her progress, and it is beautiful. That is one over one on the front there. I don't know if this one is too. I think it's one over one. No, yes, sort of. Cover model is stitched on 40 count silk gauze. So maybe it's not one over one. One over two probably. We won't be doing it on silk gauze. So thank you, Marlene. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. My first stitchy mail, I think. Happy mail. Mail call? <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I don't know. Um, my plans are, plans, plans are to keep stitching with um, School of Magical Stitches. I love that. I'm not gonna go into detail on all my videos about, you know, what homework I did necessarily. Um, but it's, love it, love it, love it. Go check out the group. It makes you, it makes you stitch. Um, makes you pull out projects that you wouldn't think to pull out, or wouldn't want to pull out. So, magical stitches, go for it. Um, what else? I guess I just want to end by saying thank you to Lynette again. Um, I had the most amazing, amazing weekend. Um, thank you to Steph for being um, such a good friend and a nice listening ear. Um, she and I are talking, you know, not every day, but it's, she's somebody that I can talk to, somebody who's going to be a friend for life. So, love you, Steph. Uh, Pam, love you too. Um, 